Howdy guys, Cal Kellogg here. It is January 30th and uh, it is unseasonably warm. I'm not wearing waders, I'm actually barefoot today. Um, I'm out at Folsom Lake. I am in search of king salmon with maybe a side order of trout. Emphasis today is definitely gonna be on catching kings. I've got the downrigger ready to drop. I'll be trolling anywhere from 20 to 40 feet deep. I'm gonna be running, uh, at least initially here, a large blue and chrome fisheye dodger and I'm trailing that with a white shad tube. I've got some stripped up anchovies here in this bag. I'm gonna put an anchovy strip on there, small little anchovy strip for some, some real meat, some real taste. So I'm gonna play with depth on that, anywhere from 20 to 40 feet down. I launched at Granite Bay. I'm gonna go down the peninsula, out into open water and work that area off the end of the peninsula. At least that's my plan at this point. On my second rod, I'm going to start out, you know, kind of, kind of seeing if there's some some trout up near the surface. I've got a natural colored trigger minnow rigged up. I've got that rig with the action disc on one of my hybrid lead core rigs. I'm going to run out three colors. I'm probably going to be 15 feet deep. Target speed today, 1.8 to 2.2. Um, you know, probably an emphasis on going two miles an hour. So let me get this gear wet. Um, we'll get it down there. We'll start chasing marks and see if we can put a king in this kayak. I'm Kel Kellogg, I'll be right back with you. Fish on. Fish on. That is a... Uh, a white shad tube behind that six inch fish eye. Hopefully it's a king, might be a trout. You never know. That was 30 feet deep, 1.8 miles an hour. The closer he gets, the more he's fighting. Oh yeah, nice king. Woohoo! Oh, he came off right there. <laughs> Just as well, I was gonna let him go anyway. That's cool. Fish on, guys, that, that one ripped it off the downrigger. That's a real fish. Holy moly. <laughs> oh boy. That's exciting. Same deal, um, 30 feet down, 1.8. Same rig. I circle out, gain a little line on this fish, and hopefully get him in the net. We'll see what happens. Don't want him jumping. That big dodger on there, you don't want him jumping if you can avoid it. But sometimes you can't avoid it, but I'm trying. That rod's seven and a half feet long, and I got, I got five feet of it under the water trying to keep him down coming my way now. Nice fish. Nice king. Deal. We get this guy unhooked and get him released if possible. There he is. Nice thick little king, guys. Beautiful fish. We'll revive him a little more, get him back in the lake, and hopefully he's gonna grow into one of those Folsom Lake monsters. Fish on. And these little kings can pull. Another nice fit. Right there. That one's 
bigger than the last one. Came in trying to get that meat strip off there and got it on the, got hooked on the back hook. That's one of the reasons I always put the meat on the hook closest to the bait. I want to draw those fish in as close as I can get them. Look at that chrome barite beauty right there. Beautiful. Dandy fish, guys. Get him revived in the net, get him back in the lake, and uh, hopefully... on right there it's just coming to shallower water guys right on the structure and uh, I raised the downrigger up fish on just like that I raised it from 30 to 20 and uh, pretty much an instant hookup Wow this one is fighting you don't need to be in deep water to catch kings during the winter time they'll come right in on near shore structure guys i mean i'm fishing bass bass structure here and that one is scrappy scrappy a little speed up here get control of him and so i can steer the kayak That was classic king salmon right there though. Um, raised that downrigger up and he was just smashed it. Oh, beautiful fish. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. ha ha. Good. Let me let me show you this guy. He's nice. I'm gonna say he's 16 inches. Nice fish right there. Nice little king. Folsom Lake, baby. Beautiful. Get him back in the net. Get him revived. He's already ready to go. We'll get him revived and get him out of here. Make sure he's ready to go. Hey guys, let's talk a little bit about that last salmon I landed right before I took Lucy in to run around on the island. And let's talk about king salmon fishing in general. And I see some guys making fundamental mistakes that if you didn't make those mistakes, you would catch more and bigger salmon, okay? That fish I hooked was in 20 feet of water right up near the shore, okay? All day long today, what I've been working is high spots. I've been working humps coming out of much deeper water. I'm not marking a bunch of fish. I'm not marking any bait where I'm hooking the fish yet I'm still hooking salmon on a regular basis. I do that here at Folsom, I do it at Shasta. When there's salmon in Oroville, I do it there too. Because rather than chasing marks, rather than chasing bait, I'm putting my baits in areas where I know the salmon gravitate to ambush prey, okay? I am targeting the, the, the percentage of the salmon population that is actively feeding or looking to feed at any given time rather than the mass of fish which are often holding in really deep water. Sometimes those really deep marks will go. Most of the time, those fish are inactive and they're not gonna go. Lake Oroville is a classic example. You'll get out there, you'll mark a lot of fish between 100 and 120 feet deep. Sometimes they'll go, sometimes they won't. But what I like to do is pull back onto the points fish anywhere from 40 to 60 feet deep you won't mark as many fish there you'll mark the occasional fish but you're putting your offering in the zone where the active fish are looking to ambush you're putting it in the area where those fish are hunting for food and you're gonna hook some very nice salmon okay that salmon we just hooked and landed over there was in 20 feet of water um, during the winter and early spring it's not uncommon to have kings and some very nice kings 
push right up on shoreline structure. A lot of times the nicest salmon of the year are landed by black bass guys either working drop shot uh, rigs or vertically jigging spoons. They're looking for bass holding on structure. They're looking for bass holding on humps. And you know, the kings are in the same area for the same reason. They're up there, they're hunting, they're looking for bait. They see the drop shot, they see the spoon and they jump on it. If you go troll those areas with your Dodger and you know, uh, shad tube or whatever you prefer to pull, you will catch fish in those shallow water areas in the cold months, in the winter, in the early spring. Don't be afraid to work the shoreline. Don't be afraid to work shallow structure. When you're, when you're targeting kings and the water is cold, it's not always all about getting out over the channel and dropping your downrigger down to 60, 75 feet. Sometimes you're much better served fishing shallow water structure where you're not actually marking fish because those are the kind of areas where the fish go to feed. So any fish that are in that area, you've got a really good chance of hooking them. So just keep that in mind. Be multi-dimensional. Don't be the guy that goes out there and pulls the same baits at the same depths every day at the same speed every day all year long. Sometimes that pays off, but a lot of times, you know, the pattern changes. King salmon fishing in the winter and early spring is very different than king salmon fishing in the middle of summer. So just keep that in mind, and uh, I think that's going to help you catch more and bigger landlocked kings. Fish on. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, he a battler. That one was down at 34 feet, guys. 34 feet, same rig. The chrome and uh, blue blade with the white shad tube behind it. Tipped with a nice piece of, uh, of anchovy. There. Not as big as the other ones, but uh, still a nice little salmon nonetheless fish on fish on Ooh, pulling he's pulling this one's right here too far from the granite bay ramp and i am in 47 feet of water i saw a couple fish down deep right before that fish hit so i'm assuming all those fish were salmon that seemed about the right time interval from when I saw the fish on the screen until the time that I got the hit. Ah, through the hook. I was afraid of that. He was doing a lot of jumping. He was jumping all over the place. Well guys, on that note, I am gonna call it a day. Um, I'm gonna crank that downrigger up. I'm right here near my vehicle and I'm sure Lucy wants to get off this kayak. I pretty much got the bite dialed in out here right now, um, pulling that six inch fisheye dodger, chrome and blue, and that white shad tube right there, tipping it with anchovy, um, the pro cure bloody tuna on there. That combo was just working. Deep fish today was 34 feet. Shallow fish today was about 17. Um, 30 feet was where I was putting my gear a lot and that was just working for me. Wasn't that concerned with finding bait or even marking fish. I was pretty much marking structure and that was working real well. Um, we are on the cusp of a really good salmon fishing season out here. Whether you come out now or you wait to get out here until the springtime, I think you can look forward to catching plenty of kings. You know, I think they're gonna be anywhere from say 16 to 22 inches by early spring out here. But I think there's gonna be some much bigger fish around and it's gonna be really exciting to see what happens out here during the summer when the fish drop down, when there's a lot of bait out here near the dam, just to see what this lake holds in terms of size. Last year, the size was down a little bit. We saw fish up to five pounds, maybe a few bigger than that. But uh, this year could be very surprising. We may see those big kings again, but the, even if we don't, there are going to be plenty of kings out here to offer really fun fishing for people in the Sacramento area. If you would like to book a trip with me on the FHS pontoon boat, my calendar's up. We can get out here. We can spank those kings and I can break down 
how to catch kings, not only in Folsom, but in reservoirs all over Northern California. If you're looking for gear, fisheye dodgers, shad tubes, I have a shipment of these coming in, I'm out right now. But if you're looking for gear, get on over to fhsfishing.com. That's where you'll find my guiding calendar too. So we'll hook you up with what you need, whether you need a guided instructional fishing trip or you're just looking to stock up on gear. I'll catch you next time, guys. Thanks for all the support. The channel is very close to having a million views over the last 28 days, which is quite amazing. Anyway, I'm out of here for now. I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube when I'm out and about on another Northern California trout or salmon fishing adventure. On behalf of Lucy back here and on behalf of Wes, who's driving home from Seattle today, apparently, um, I'm out of here. Thanks for all the support, guys, and we'll catch you next time. I'm Kel Kellogg.